Hey guys and welcome back. So today we are going to be watching Lost season 2 episode 1 and this next episode is called Man of Science, Man of Faith. And I'm so incredibly excited. I cannot wait to see what they're going to do in season 2. Like this is going to be so good. I can't wait to see what's inside the hatch. Also based on this title I feel like maybe Locke and Jack are going to come head to head and it's going to be so good. Like honestly I definitely understand what Jack was saying in the finale where he said that we might have a problem with Locke going forward. I mean truly there is nothing more dangerous than a man who thinks he is right, who knows he's right but they might be wrong. So yeah I'm very excited to see what's going to happen with the hatch and Locke. Like, will this be what Locke expected or wanted? Will he be disappointed? Will he regret actually opening the door? Will his faith be shaken? Or will this make him even more of a crazy person? I actually just edited episode 19 of season 1 and I totally forgot that Locke's mom had schizophrenia. So I'm really curious to see if that's ever gonna come into play. As far as I'm aware, schizophrenia is hereditary, like you can inherit it from a parent. So it would be interesting if they did something with that as well. Like maybe the island is just a normal island and Locke might be mentally ill. That could be an interesting route they might go down on or maybe not. Maybe this is all just supernatural stuff, who knows? But yeah, I'm curious to see what they're going to do. I'm also looking forward to the Walt storyline. Man, I feel so bad for Michael. The poor guy lost his son for a second time and I have no idea how long Walt will be gone. Will it be what it was like with Claire where she was gone for a couple of episodes and then we found her? Or will we get to actually follow Walt and where he went? Or will his disappearance go on for a longer amount of episodes, like maybe half a season or something? I have no idea what they're planning on doing with that, but I'm very, very excited to see what's gonna happen. Also, very interesting that the others had an actual boat, like a functioning boat and guns. Is there a Walmart on this island? Did we not explore it enough? <laughs> like, how did they get those things? Like, where did they come from? Were they also shipwrecked? But it's such a tiny little boat. Like, would they have been shipwrecked on that? And if they were shipwrecked, why are they not leaving if they have a functioning boat? Like, who are the others? Are they natives to this island? Were they also stranded here? And if they were, why are they still here? What do they want with Walt? I have so many questions. I'm running out of air. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm so curious about that like it's such an interesting story and I really hope we get to follow the others I think that would be so cool I would love to learn more about them and see what's up like who are they what do they want oh my god it's so crazy oh also one thing I noticed when I was editing episode 18 of season one was that Russo mentioned that at the Black Rock is where the radio tower is. You know, the one that's playing her message. But we didn't see that. Like, we actually got to the Black Rock, which turned out to be a freaking ship. But I didn't see no radio tower. So was it a lie from Russo? Or did we just miss it somehow? I have no idea. But I really hope we can find a radio tower at some point as well. And maybe, like, put out our own message. I don't know. But I just really hope that they can find a radio tower this season. I mean, the whole idea of that kind of was introduced in episode two which basically was episode one because I think they aired the first two episodes as one like that was just one pilot so yeah it's been a long time since we've known about the radio tower so I really hope we get to see it this season sorry this is gonna be a long intro but also one thing I noticed when editing episode 19 and Boone was talking to the outside world on the radio the other guy said that oh the passengers of oceanic flight 815 are all dead what? They are not. So yeah, I thought that it would be so interesting if Boone's message is the reason why they eventually get found. Like, I don't know how they're gonna get rescued. Like, will they be able to rescue themselves or will they just eventually be found by someone? But I honestly would love to see Boone's sort of sacrifice be worth it in the end where it's like that's the reason why the outside world decided to keep looking for them instead of just thinking that they're dead. We've seen Boone try to be so heroic throughout the whole first season like immediately he was trying to help Rose I believe but he was messing up the CPR and then he tried to swim out after that lady who ended up drowning but then he almost drowned himself and then here instead of getting out of the plane he decided to stick around in it 
to give the message so that he could be a hero and then that ended up leading to his death so there have been a few things of boom where you could see that he really just wants to be the hero of the story and it never really worked out but i think it would be so special if that message is the reason they eventually get found and Boone actually died as a hero. So I really hope that's gonna be the route they take. I think it would be so cool and so special that like such a small one back in season one is what gets them rescued in season six or something. So yeah, I feel like I rambled on long enough. I'm very excited to get into season two. When I watched the season one DVD extras, the creators or someone on the writing team said that Season one was basically the passengers trying to get off the island, but now that they know that they can't, season two is going to be more about exploring the island and coming to terms with us being here. Like, this is our new home, so they're not going to just be at the caves and at the beach. They're going to try and explore. And that's what I'm most excited to see for season two. I cannot wait to see us explore the island and see what else is there. I feel like there are some crazy things we haven't yet seen. I mean, we found a hatch last season, so who knows what else we could find this season. I mean, even just like the black rock, like a huge ass ship in the middle of the jungle. It's so crazy. So yes, I'm excited for us to explore the island. I think it's going to be so fun. And yeah, if you guys are interested, you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is going to be in the description down below. And let's just get into the episode. Yes. Oh God, who are we starting with? Who's that? There's is this like one of the others or something? Like, do we get a flashback for one of them? Because it doesn't really look like any of our characters. So do your thing, for injection. What did I say? I couldn't read it. Um. Yo, what the hell? What? What's going on? Dude, I'm so confused. Dude, this is so well done. <gasps> it's a hatch. We're inside the hatch. There's someone in the hatch and he has like fake sunlight on the outside. Yo, this is insane. What's happening? Oh my God, I'm so curious. Hi guys. Oh my God, this is insane. Look, you're going to be exciting. I need to calm down. I actually need to calm down. I'm so excited. God, who is it? I thought it was someone's flashback, like an other's flashback, but no, that's the person inside the freaking hatch, and he somehow has access to 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42, 4, 8. We're dead. 15 doomed and dead. 16, Are we okay? Huh? Yeah. Oh, Harley, I'm so sorry. Are we okay? Huh? Yeah, awesome. I just have to pee. Great idea if you go look at the burning death hole. <laughs> Oh, Harley. I don't know about that. But yeah, definitely don't go down because the dude was armed to the tits. Like, we could die easily. Blew the door so we could get everyone inside this thing so they'd be safe. That plan is not going to work. Safe. Never get everyone down in time. I don't know about that. But are the others still coming? They have Walt. Why would they still come for us? We're leaving now. Yes. Good idea. Let's do that. We all went through a lot to get here, Jack. Now, the ladder's broken. Boom, die for this shit. W why don't we all just calm down here? Huh? Look, if you want to go exploring in the morning, that's fine. But tonight, we're done. I'm going to go get the dynamite that we didn't use, and we're heading back to the caves. So how about you pack it up, John? Oh, let's go. Jack, assert yourself. Sure, of course. No way. Really, John? I wasn't expecting that. Female, late 20s, auto action, 514. What the hell is that thing? A piece of the steering column. All right, let's oh go. God. Keep that collar steady. Look at his hair! I, I, I can't intubate. You've got to. Dr. Shepard, her BP is 80 Shepherd. over 60. His breathing's deteriorating. <gasps> oh. Need a syringe. Big one. You. Hold pressure. Is he letting the other guy die? BP stabilizing. Oh, dude. He chose her. That's not his future wife, right? Has anyone seen Vincent? The dog. God. What happened to him? Shannon, please don't lose Vincent. Or well, maybe he can sniff out where Walt is, you know? Where did they take him? 
He's so freaking excited. Why'd you do that? Why'd you light the fuse, man? Yes, Harley. Confront him. Why wouldn't I light the fuse? Uh, maybe because I was running towards you, waving my arms, yelling, don't do that. Exactly. <laughs> well, you got a point there. <laughs> what a rebuttal. We did it so that we could get inside, Hugo. And to save everybody's lives. And to save everyone's lives. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was also thinking, Jack. It's the hatch door. You better see this. God, what is it? Scratch marks? What? Vincent! I'm sorry. God, what the fuck? Is this how the others got sick? Or something? Like, what's going on? Watching that dog was the one thing anybody ever asked me to do. Something happens to him. When was the last time you slept or had something to eat? You're exhausted. I can't tell that kid I lost his dog because I was exhausted. <gasps> oh, Walt? I mean, Vincent? Did you find Walt? I circled around behind him. Okay. Hey, doggy. What did you bark at? Oh, no. Why is it running away? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, and now she's on her own. Awesome. Shannon, please be careful. Ooh, jeez. What did I just say? I told you to be careful. I'm sorry, is that real? Walt? Is it actually you? What the fuck is going on? How is he here? What are you doing here? Shannon! <gasps> what is it? Dude, what happened? Was that real? What was Walt whispering? I couldn't understand it. This show is gonna drive me crazy. What the fuck? Life's not so bad, right? I mean, sure, the others are coming to like eat us all and every once in a while. Eat us? Where did that come from? We do get to sleep in every morning. Uh huh. And the numbers? Yes, Hurley. Tell him. And I won. $114 million. That's when it started happening. My grandpa. Jackie's like, oh, I need to be best friends with him. I see the same freaking numbers on that hatch thing. Just written on the side. And that's why I try to stop it, because that thing is cursed, man. Oh, God, what is he going to say? You were in a psych ward? You're really, yeah, that's his takeaway. Great. I'm not crazy. I'm not saying you are. So, what, that's it? That's all? What do you want me to say? How about you believe me, man? Hurry. How about that's fucking insane? They're numbers. Jack, are you kidding me? What's that thing where doctors make you feel better just by talking to you? That side man there? Yeah, that. Your rest of sucks? Your sucks, dude. <laughs> dude, I don't understand. Jack, like, I get it. It could be a coincidence. But, like, the six numbers, the same six he played and heard about, are the ones on the side of the hatch on this island? Like, come on. The car that I hit, the other driver was older. He died in the ER. Wait, she hit him? Your back is broken. Your spleen is ruptured and bleeding into your abdomen, and that has to be stopped. I'm going to perform surgery and repair as much damage as possible, but even the most optimistic result puts the likelihood of retaining any feeling or mobility anywhere below the waist at extremely unlikely. You might want to try handing out some hope every once in a while. Yep, his bad side manner truly sucks. Folks are much more inclined to hear that 1% chance things are going to be okay. Her spine's crushed. I tell her that everything's going to be okay. That's false. That's not what your dad said. Just maybe sugarcoat it a little bit better. <sighs> also, I'm pretty sure that's like, I mean, not what this aired, but like, I think there was a study where it's like, it's more likely for the patient to heal if they believe that they can heal instead of just telling them that like, no, that's not gonna happen. I heard whispers. Where? Everywhere. What, what whispers? I don't know them. Do you think something happened to the raft? No. Yeah, definitely. Did you see them? Did you see the others? Hey, Shannon. I saw them. There are no others. We've already had this what conversation. Hell did you know that? No. Hey! Everything's gonna be okay. Let's just, let's take it easy. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna stay here tonight, okay? Together. We've still got four guns. We'll put lookouts at all the entrances. Sun comes up in three hours and we're all gonna be here to see that happen. Oh yeah, I believe that. I promise. Oh yeah, that was a bad idea. But hey, his bedside manner get, is getting better. So that's something. So do you believe it? That everything's gonna be okay? I don't think so. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm, okay. Kind of unlike you, the whole glass half full thing. 
There's a glass. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good thing, saying what you said. That's a good speech. I'm going to the hatch. Kate, why? But Locke's going into that thing, whether you like it or not. And if he falls and breaks his neck, we have together die alone, right? <sighs> okay, I'm excited. There will be ongoing physical therapy, but if she works really will, hard... Will, will we be able to, uh, you know, make love? Great guy. She's so lucky. You need to know that there's a chance Sarah might very well need professional care for the rest of her life. Like, she won't be able to go to the bathroom by herself? He's like, thank God we haven't gotten married yet. I can just dip. No issues. It's okay. I know I'm not going to be dancing anymore. I can still roll around at my wedding. Well, if you're only rolling, there will be no wedding. I'm going to fix you. Hell yeah, he will. And then he's gonna marry her. Which definitely feels a little iffy. Just like with the power dynamics, you know, when someone does something like that for you. How are you ever like equals in a relationship? Expected to find you halfway down there by now. I was waiting for you. Oh god, oh god, I'm so excited. Let's get in there. So you want me to go down first? Oh, you're lighter. I can belay you down and bring you back up just as easy. Are you kidding? The shaft might get narrower down there, too. You left no. out the part where you just want to see if I get eaten by something. Exactly. Yeah, that, too. He already sacrificed Boone. He's like, I'm going to sacrifice Kate as well if I have to. Oh my god, the music is insane. What do I say if I need to stop? Stop. Stop. Help! Pull me back up! Crazy man is trying to shoot me! Oh god! Oh god, look! Grab her! Oh jeez. Oh fuck. Kate! I'm gonna have to drop you! I dropped the light! Maybe we should... Oh, okay then. <laughs> Two. Oh, the fear thing, right? Stop! God, the sound design is way too good. What is it? Josh! I think there's something down I'm sorry. Was just kidnapped by aliens? What is this? Kate, are you alright? What's going on? Kate? Kate, what's happening? Sorry, we just lose Kate? What was that? Kate! Kate! Don't you dare end it like this. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. I swear to God. Okay, good. You're going back? What about all that stuff you said about waiting till morning and watching the sunrise? He can feel Kate being in trouble, Hurley. Let him go. He has a sixth sense about these things. He knows when hot women need him. Um, lock? Where the fuck did you go? Oh, did he climb down after her? No freaking way. Oh, Damn it. God. You all right, brother? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Take it easy. Keep the weight off. Let me look. look. Oh, we see a doctor too? Is that the guy from MacGyver? I'm training. Training for what? For a race around the world. Impressive, I know. So your excuse might be good, brother. Just trying to work a few things out. A doll, right? A patient. I made a promise I couldn't keep. Oh, no, but you could. I told her I'd fix her and couldn't. No, but she will be fixed, right? What if you did fix her? I didn't. Well, what if you did? You don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't, why not? Because with her situation, that would be a miracle, brother. Well, good thing is miracles are real. See you in another life, yeah? See ya. Interesting scene. <gasps> Wait, was that the light he turned on that made that huge beam when Kate was falling down? Are those pipes? Oh, right. This guy has running water. That's so interesting. And the electricity as well. Like, this is so cool. Oh, and he has a computer. <laughs> Wait, now that I'm like, oh, yeah, that wasn't the flashback. I'm really just realizing everything we saw and how crazy that is that we have these things. Um... Okay, is this like a no shoes in the house situation? Um, what is that? A magnet? 
Absolutely not. Do not go in there. Whatever is in there, I hate it. Uh huh? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? God, I've been mining Bitcoin? What is this? I wouldn't do that. Hey, Log. Where's Kate? What the fuck is going on? What the hell? Uh oh. Smell. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you really smell. Wow, her flirting technique is awful. Is Kevin here? I can't say. I didn't see him. Sure. Yikes. Back yeah, home. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Seems like a great guy. I did everything that I could, but your spinal column, I just, I couldn't repair it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Sarah. I'd be more moved if I didn't know that she will walk again. You're yanking my chain, right? Is that what it looks like? I mean, that would be a real commitment to the bit. I'm not going to my toes. A miracle has happened. That's so interesting. So it was like a true miracle because he didn't think he succeeded. Can you feel this? Yes. Yes? Yes. Oh, that's so cute. Jack, it's okay. I said drop it. Where's Kate? She's fine. Just put down. I'm not putting down anything. God. Oh, God. Do you want him to die? Put it down. Is that? Guy from the stadium? Is this your destiny? All roads lead here. Jack, calm down. Lower your gun or I'll blow his damned head off, brother! That's what? Is that you? Holy shit! What the fuck? Well, I guess they met in another life! You. The God damn it. I hate this show so fucking much. How dare you? Oh my god. God, that's insane. I am so hyped for season two. Like, what? It's Desmond? He's just there. H how? When? Since? How? Why is he in the hedge? I have so many questions. This is gonna be such a fun storyline. I cannot wait to see where this thing goes. I can't believe that him and Jack know each other. Honestly, I was thinking that it was a bit of a random scene between Jack and that guy because like nothing really happened. We didn't really do much in that scene in terms of story. So yeah, I was like, this is kind of random, but whatever. I'm sure the Lost Riders know what they're doing. I didn't expect them to be setting this up where like Desmond and Jack and we get to see him again. He's in the hatch. How is he in the hatch? I have so many questions. I'm so excited for season two. Like, this is truly so insane. And also, where the fuck is Kate? Like, why isn't she with them? Why is Locke so calm? Too many questions already. Like, we just started the season and I already have 8 million questions. But yeah, this was a truly a phenomenal start to the season. I absolutely Cannot wait to see what's gonna happen next. First of all, that Walt thing has me so curious. Like, was it actually Walt? Or did Shannon have a vision of him? Like, maybe Walt can do that? Like, project his likeness? Like, Azro project or something? I don't know what that was. And, like, the whispering as well. But clearly the others aren't really coming for us. Which makes sense because they have what they wanted. So... Why would they come after us? So yeah, that what Shannon's situation was very interesting. And also Vincent running away. I feel like maybe Vincent is following Walt's scent, possibly. Or he can sense where Walt is. I'm not sure, but I'm so excited for us to follow up on that. I'm also excited to see when Michael Sawyer and Jin will get back to the island. Like, I'm sure they won't die. Or at least one of them will make it back. But I think all of them will. Like... All of them have so much story left to tell. I just don't think they would kill any of them. Sawyer, definitely not. Michael needs to come back so he can do the whole Walt storyline. I guess if they wanted to kill someone, it would be Jin. But I really hope they don't do that because I still feel like there's so much we can learn about him and we still need to see him and Son work out their issues. So I wonder if that's going to be next episode where they come back. 
and then we can start our search for Walt and then, you know, prove Shannon was correct, which will be crazy. I love how against all of the other stuff is Charlie is. He's just like, no, 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 that's not real. Why would that be real? I mean, dude, you know, Eaton was here, right? Like we've met someone on the island besides Russo who wasn't on our plane. Like, why is it so unbelievable? that there are others out there as well. Like I understand him not trusting Russo and thinking she's behind all of this, but to just outright dismiss the idea that there are others on the island seems a little foolish. I also really like the flashbacks of Jack and to see how he met Sarah. And yeah, I'm curious to see what will go sour in their relationship. Honestly, as I said, I don't feel like this is the best basis for a relationship. I definitely could see something happening along the lines of like Sarah fell in love with Jack because he fixed her and there's a lot of like emotion that comes with that, like a lot of gratitude and love for the person who saved your ability to walk. And I just don't think it was wise of Jack to fall for her too or at least to pursue a relationship with her. It feels a little weird in my opinion. So maybe after a while Sarah will just fall out of love with Jack because she didn't really fall in love with him. She just fell in love with what he did for her. That could be like an interesting thing to explore or maybe something else will happen. Maybe she will die. Like the miracle she received for her to be able to walk again will get taken away and then she dies or something. You know, where it's like you got something but then it will get taken away by the end and you die. And I mean die because if she lost her ability to walk again, I don't think Jack would just abandon her the same way her current fiance did. Like what a slimy asshole. Like I just... <laughs> he left her for that. Like he was so in love with her that he was going to marry her and then he was like... Mm. I'm gonna dip, even though she can clearly still walk. So, you know, great guy. But yeah, I don't think Jack, you know, would leave her if she ever got paralyzed again. So I'm thinking maybe she will die or she will leave him or he will leave her. I don't know, but I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in their relationship. Also, I love that Hurley confided in Jack, even though he didn't seem to believe him. Now, see, I understand how the whole thing sounds, right? Like saying these numbers are cursed is a little bit of a harder pill to swallow. But for Jack to outright dismiss the whole thing makes no sense to me because like, bruh, how much of a coincidence is this? Like, what do you think? That Hurley decided to play these numbers and then horrible things happen and the same numbers are on the island etched into a hatch that says quarantine on the inside of it. Like, that's a coincidence? Like, that's not something nefarious or weird? At least he could have been like, yeah, that's very strange. You know, I think that would have been like a normal reaction instead of just being like, oh, so you were in a mental institution. Now everything makes sense. You're crazy. Like, Jack, do you hear yourself? Like, of course, I understand not fully believing the curse part of it. But the rest, I would be a little bit spooked if I heard that, you know, where he's like, yeah, I play these numbers and this guy set them in a mental institution and then now those numbers showed up on the island. I guess maybe Hurley should have also told him about the fact that the numbers came from the island, like where people heard it over the radio signal that now Russo hijacked for her own little message. Maybe that would have helped a little bit as well to just give that information to Jack, but... Yeah, I'm like, Jack, come on. Like, how are you not believing Harley here? Like, it's so weird. So yeah, this was an awesome, awesome premiere. It has me so, so hyped for this season. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next. I wonder where Kate is. I wonder how Locke feels about the head. She seemed pretty pumped, even though there was a gun pointed at his neck. So... I think maybe he's happy of what we found in here. Like, this is what he wanted. I'm not sure. I'm really looking forward to seeing more of Locke and how he feels about what they actually found. Like, is he happy? Is he not? Is he disappointed? I'm curious to see what he'll think of this. And I'm excited for the Walt storyline. Like, that's so, so crazy. I don't know what that was with him and Shannon, but I cannot wait to find out. Oh, also, one more thing. Okay, so the whole Jack Sarah thing. When they brought her in, I think they said that the guy in the SUV 
was the one who caused the accident but then Sarah was like what happened to the guy I hit so like who was at fault there I didn't really catch it I'm unsure but also it's a very interesting thing that Jack let the other guy die like I wonder how much danger Sarah was in like was she also in imminent danger like couldn't we have left that hugest metal something in her chest a little while longer while we worked on the other guy or was this truly like an either or situation and then Jack decided to pick her over the guy very very interesting like again I thought maybe he did that because the guy was at fault so he was like well if I have only can say one I'm saving the one who was the victim in this situation which I'm pretty sure is not how that's supposed to work like I think the way you save people is by triage right like whoever has the bigger injury gets to go first even if they're like a murderer like I don't think you're allowed to just pass out your own judgment where it's like mm, you know what this guy is a Nazi, so I'm not going to save them. Like, I don't think you're allowed to do that. Like, no matter how awful the person you're working on, if they're the one who have the biggest issue, you have to treat them first. Even if the next person is like an actual saint or something, you know what I mean? So I think it's just a very interesting added little thing to the episode where we saw Jack do something like that, where he was just making his own decision and his own choice. And he kind of played God in a sense, where he let someone else die so that he could save her. I wonder if that's gonna come back at some point this season. You know, I think that was like a very intentional scene and I think it could have set something up that will come back around on the island. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. This was uh, so much fun and I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen next. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and as always, a huge, huge shout out goes out to all my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.